Hello. Wow, that was some cake. I'm so glad we practiced really good during the week. Mac and Cheese really had his finger on the pulse of this team. Many years ago, I was a stupid youth. I stole a salami and was found guilty, and I was sent to the can for a while. Yeah. Oh, I stole a salami and the car. Some jewelry. All right. Okay, maybe I held someone against their will in a car trunk. For a few hours. It was an hour. It was an hour. They exaggerate. Anyway, anyway. I decided I don't want to take any chances getting poked in the keister while I did my time. So what I did, I decided to encase myself in a cocoon. Yeah, I, I guess you would call it a cocoon. I was encased in a cocoon of my own piss, shit, and vomit. And I didn't shower, not once, for six months. I eventually got off for good behavior and for being encased in a shit, piss, and vomit cocoon. But no one touched me, no one touched me. The reason why I tell you that story is the Rams scored like you didn't want to touch them. Like each Ram was encased in their own shit and piss and vomit cocoon. But as far as I know, the refs would penalize players for being encased in a shit and piss and vomit cocoon. So that can't be the reason why they beat us 51 to 17. 51 to 17. My mother-in-law won the over 41 and a half. She and my wife are now a combined 18 and 5. Nice. The over was covered after three minutes of the third quarter. I wouldn't even call that an over. I would call that a cover me and shit, piss, and vomit over. You know, I thought I'd be, I'd be really mad after this game, but I'm, I'm not really that mad. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm sad. I'm confused. I'm really confused. I think I jerked off during the third quarter, but I'm not sure. My left nut hurts, but it might be because I punched myself in the dick when we had the punt blocked. I want to hang a do not disturb sign on my fucking forehead right here, right here. Maybe a little over, maybe a little, yeah, right here, right here, do not disturb. But I'm afraid the maid will come in anyway and make my imaginary bed. Before the game, I uh, I asked for a running game, and we had one going early, and the passing game was okay early, too. The offensive line was doing a pretty good job. But then Eli did the baby Beal thing. He played like a baby Beal in its little cage with very little light. I guess sometimes Eli will play like a baby veal. We have to work on that for, for next week. We'll work on the baby veal thing. 
Early interceptions and fumbles against a team like the Rams is not a good thing. Then, it just got out of hand. I know that 51 points isn't your fault entirely. I'll give you that. I, I figure we gave them 17, maybe 20 points on turnovers. So they scored 31. We, we, we should have scored 24 at least. So the way I figure it, we only lost by seven and had a chance to win at the end. We had a chance to win at the end. Guys, we are now one and seven. One and seven! We are one and seven! We are halfway done with the season. We could make the playoffs at 9-7 and seven if we win the final eight games. It is possible. It is possible. It's also possible that my asshole just whispered, Parlez vous Francais? Or, Merci. That's my asshole. Merci beaucoup. That's if my asshole was Edward G. Robinson and Frank. Merci beaucoup. My asshole just fucking told me that. Calm down, asshole. You rotten, cotton-picking rabbit, you. <laughs> I'm going to call the league office and find out if this shit and piss and vomit cocoon thing is legal because if it is... We are doing it next week. You guys go shower. I'm going to go hire some hooers and study the game film with them. It makes it more fun when I yell, look at that hole! I'll see you guys Tuesday. 51 to 17. Wow! That was 